So let's use the law of conservation of momentum to calculate the recoil velocity of an 8 kilogram rifle that is capable of shooting a bullet with a mass of 0.3 kilograms, 0.03 kilograms and a velocity of 700 meters per second. So before we actually shoot the bullet with the rifle, both the bullet and the rifle are stationary. So our initial velocity of the rifle and the barrel V1 is 0 meters per second and the initial velocity of the bullet given by V2 is also zero. So that means if we sum up the momentum of the rifle barrel and the bullet system, the sum will give us zero. So that means if we sum up the final after we shoot the bullet, if we sum up the momentum then, that should also give us zero. So we have the following equation where V1 prime is the recoil speed we're looking for and V2 prime is what we know. It's 700 meters per second. It's the speed with which the bullet leaves the barrel of the rifle. So we know M1 is 8 kilograms and M2 is 0.03 kilograms. So we can rewrite this equation and solve for V1 prime, the recoil velocity, so that equals mass of our bullet multiplied by the velocity of the bullet divided by the mass of the barrel rifle system, 8 kilograms, and we get negative 2.63 meters per second. The negative simply means that if we choose this direction along the positive x-axis to be positive, then the negative simply means that the velocity of the barrel, the recoil velocity, points in the opposite direction of the bullet. So it points in a negative direction along the x-axis. So we conclude that the rifle moves with a velocity of 2.63 meters per second in the opposite direction of the bullet. So if we sum up these two momenta, that will give us zero.